Hey Modern Fragrance community, today I'll be doing a review on the naturally occurring geosemin aroma chemical. Geosemin. Its name originating from the Greek geo, earth, and osemi, odor, is a naturally occurring cisquiterpene or bicyclic alcohol first described in 1936 by A.C. Thaisen and later isolated by Nancy N. Gerber and Hubert A. Le Chevalier in the 60s. It's responsible for the musty, earthy, almost muddy odor you can find in water that, honestly, most people would probably deem unsuitable for drinking. But it's also responsible for the earthy smell and taste that you find in beetroot skin. There was an interesting study done recently in 2019 by Marcus C. Stensmeyer and Nadia Mello, which indicates mosquitoes infected with yellow fever are actually attracted to geosemin. It's proposed that traps using beetroot skins can be used to reduce the population of these mosquitoes. I was excited to find out that geosemin is the main reason we smell that fresh, earthy aroma in our backyards after a heavy rainfall. That smell is being caused by microorganisms in the soil, and is being released by the rain pounding down on that undisturbed soil. The odor is described as a fresh, rain-on-soil aroma. If you decide to use this in a fragrance, it needs to be heavily diluted and used in trace amounts. I'll be diluting this 1% solution even further for a niche project I'm working on. And so you know, this current solution is diluted using triethyl citrate. Geosemin can also be used with other solvents such as perfumer's alcohol or dipropylene glycol for dilution. It has a flash point of 94 degrees Celsius or 201.2 degrees Fahrenheit and is classified as a category 2A serious eye irritant. You won't find much more information other than that in your MSDS for this particular aroma chemical. But make sure you read your MSDS or SDS information before handling any aroma chemical. I can't wait to explore this watery scent further with the combination of a sweet grass component I'll talk about in my next video. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.